Good day viewers, you are welcome. Today we are going to be solving this functional equations challenge. f of minus 2x plus f of 3x equals 6x squared. And we want to find f of 13. When we look at this right hand side, we have a quadratic because of the power of this x. Then can we just assume a function of a quadratic? No. So we are going to make this thing in a general polynomial form. Suppose this is not power of 2, let's say power of 1 or a constant value here. So let's see how we can do that. So this will be a general for any form of the function that we have. If you consider the solutions, we have f of minus 2, which is the first domain, and f of 3 as the second domain. If I assume a solution of, let's say we have f of t equals, if we have a n t raised to the power of n plus a n minus 1, then t raised to the power of n minus 1. The next one that will come will be plus a n minus 2 t raised to the power of n minus 2. And that is how it keeps going till we reach the constant values, so which is a n minus n then t raised to the power of n minus n, and that becomes a naught. Then after obtaining this, we are going to start substituting this value. But before that, we have the quadratic there, which means the power must be 2. So if I change every single n to 2, we have f of t equals a2, then t raised to the power of 2, then plus a, so this will be 2 minus 1, that is a1, and t raised to the power of 1, plus that is how it keeps going, as the power is 2, it means the next thing that you call is a0, t raised to the power of 0, and t raised to the power of 0 here, it gives 1, and when we replace the first one with f of minus 2x, here we are not using x, we are no more using t, so here is a2, then minus 2x raised to the power of 2 plus a1 of minus 2x then plus a0. So we proceed by having this is a2 bracket. The power of 2 here is even number, which means minus 2x becomes minus 2 raised to the power of 2, which gives us 4. And also x will be raised to the power of 2. And here is power of 1. It remains negative. So plus times minus, that is minus. And here is a1 of 2x plus a0. And next, we have to multiply this out. And it becomes 4a2 x raised to the power 2 minus 2a1x plus a0. So this is what we got for f of 2. Again, we are going to find f of 3x. So for f of 3x, we have this equals, we are still applying a2 t raised to power 2 plus a1 t plus a0. When we try and replace t with 3x, we are going to have a2 into bracket of 3x raised to power 2 plus a1 into bracket of 3x raised to the power 1, then plus a0. <coughs> Upon having this, we are going to expand this as well. As we have a2, then 3 raised to the power 2, that becomes 9. We have 9 a2 x raised to the power 2, plus also we have this as 3 a1 x raised to the power 1, then plus a0. This is for f of 3x. We are going to add this together and equate everything to be 6x raised to the power of 2. So for f of 2x, we have it as 4a2x raised to the power 2 minus 2a1x raised to the power 1 plus a0. And if I bracket this, then we are going to add f3 to it. And F3 is given as 9A2 x raised to the power 2 plus 3A1 
x raised to the power 1 plus a naught. And everything here equals 6x squared. So we are going to combine what we can add together. Here we have x squared and this is also x squared. Suppose I factor out x squared. We are adding 4a2 plus 9a2 together. Then we take out x squared. And also we have plus, here we have 3 a1 minus 2 a1 multiplied by x raised to the power 1. And we have plus, this is a0 plus a0. And everything equals 6x squared. And if you continue, we have 4a2 plus 4a2. So this gives us 13 a2 then x squared plus 3a1 minus 2a1 that gives us a1 x raised to the power 1 plus a2 plus a2 that is 2a naught equals 6x squared well, we try and do the comparisons at these two sides here we have is x squared this is also x squared that is we are going to match this and this together we have 13 a 2 x squared will be equals 6 x squared. And when x squared cancelled x squared, we have 13 a 2 equals 6. Which implies that our a 2 here is equals 6 divided by 13. And for the other part, we have only x squared. We don't have like x raised to power 1 and we don't have like a naught which means they cannot compare them with anything here. It is only A2 that we have, which is 6 divided by 13. So therefore, if you come back to the given functions, so therefore we are going to have f of x, which is equals A2 is the first one. And the value of that A2 here is given as 6 divided by 13. And uh, we are going to have it multiplying t. So, which is t raised to the power of 2. But instead of t raised to the power 2, we change it to x raised to the power of 2. There is nothing again that we are going to write because the others has become 0. a1 is 0 and uh, a0 is also 0. So this is what we have for f of x. And since the question asks to find f of 13, so we just try and substitute for f of 13. So which gives us 6 divided by 13 multiplied by x squared here is giving us 13 times 13, 13 times 13, and uh, when 13 comes to 13, we have 6 multiplied by 13, so 6 times 3, that gives us 8, remain 1, and 6 times 1, that is 6, so 6 plus 1, that gives us 78, f of 13 equals 78, so this is how to solve this problem, how we learned, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video, never stop learning, bye bye.